Hey, what's cracking? This is Darren McDuffie, a.k.a. The Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned. And today's topic is about diets for women. I know a lot of times in the fitness rush, women are sometimes ignored. So I wanted to gear this video specifically towards women, and I wanted to talk about why diets don't work, but not necessarily not working. Sometimes diets will work for you, and I'll explain that, what I mean by that in a moment. I know that was kind of confusing. But a few weeks ago, I had the uh, good fortune of picking up a book called Metabolic Typing. And in that book, the doctor, I mean, not, I'm sorry, not the doctor, the author explained uh, there are three metabolic types. And I'm going to tell you those types. One is the protein type. Those are people who do well off a diet that consists mainly of protein. The next type is a carbohydrate type. Those people do uh, fairly well off having more carbohydrates in their diet, if you can believe that or not, because a lot of times people think that carbohydrates are the devil. And then you have a mixture, a mixed type. Those people do uh, good with protein and carbohydrates, a mixture of both in their diets. But one of the things he also discussed in the book, and uh, one of the things that I knew personally, and I just, it was great for me to have someone justify that and, and really, uh, you know, put me on that level that they were thinking the way that I thought, was he talked about the fact that sometimes diets do work because uh, the person will fall into a diet that works for their, their metabolic, metabolic type. And this doesn't happen often, but it does happen. And for the women out there, you'll see these successes in the diets that you see on TV. You know, some women have these uh, South Beach diet, all these other diets out there where they will fall in and they'll put them on TV and they'll have all the good before and after pictures. And it looks like, you know, they're successful when they, you know, they are successful. But let's say if... For instance, you went and you tried the same diet. Maybe you won't have the, the, the success with that. And that's because the diet didn't fit your metabolic type. Now, here's one thing that I wanted to express to you. And it's one of the reasons why I think uh, diets don't work outside of uh, just talking about metabolic typing. And it's this. It's the fact that we constantly push women, we meaning, uh, you know, the diet wheel out there, you have, uh, you know, uh, specific health professionals that push women towards losing weight, losing weight, and losing weight. And the way that we teach people to lose weight is we either deprive them of eating things or we tell them that they have to exercise themselves to death. And in any event, all of these, these two things are very detrimental to women. What we don't do is we don't teach women why they're having why they're actually gaining weight. We don't tell them about uh, hormones. For instance, uh, if a woman is estrogen dominant, that dominance can show up in her body as excess weight. And no one is telling women this. We're just pushing them towards, hey, exercise yourself to death, starve yourself to death, but no one is really telling them how to fix their health problems. Now, I did a video uh, a while back on estrogen dominance, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, you may want to review that video. But there are various things, uh, health things that can pop up for women that cause them to gain weight. Uh, again, hormones, uh, hypothyroidism, and a lot of women are having problems with their thyroid. And I have a video on that of why you might be having problems with your thyroid, and you may want to watch that. But what we're telling women is to exercise them, themselves to death and do all these things. And what if that doesn't work? What if it just doesn't work for you? What are you going to do then? The only logical thing for any woman to do is fix the health problems first. But we live this backwards paradigm where we're telling people to lose weight, but we're not telling them to get healthy. Now, when you get healthy, the natural side effect of that is losing weight. For instance, if you have a problem with your thyroid and you can't seem to drop those uh, unwanted pounds, if you tried everything, you've exercised, you've gone to spin class, you've done all of this stuff, and you just can't seem to do weight, can't seem to, to lose weight. What if you went to a practitioner, alternative practitioner, and they diagnose you with a thyroid problem, and then you take care of your thyroid problem by treating it some, um, some kind of way, and you go back to your regular regimen 
and you start to lose weight. What if that could happen? A lot, lots of times that can happen, but again, we exist on this paradigm where we're telling women to lose weight by any means necessary, but we're not giving them an outlet to be healthy. So here's my take. Learn how to be healthy first and then lose weight second. You'll be you'll be more than happy with that if you just learn to do that. Uh, eat real food and do the things that are going to get your body back in balance. And that's all you need to do. So I hope you learned something from this lesson. This has been Darren McDuffie, a.k.a. The Fat Man, helping you become perfectly healthy and toned. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.